fearless pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. I'm finally about to get into a season in about four more days for the War of the Ring. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through my commanders today and getting them all sorted for the War of the Ring campaign that's coming up. I'm very looking forward and interested in replaying this. I haven't played it since the original. And we're going to be using a few new commanders this season, mixing it up because I want to try a few things out in that. So... Um, we're going to do some gearing and stuff here. I've taken all my gear off everyone. And we are going to be using some other commanders who are lower respect as well. So we're going to have to try work and level them up and stuff like that. Um, so I'm probably not going to be as crazy strong as I usually am. I will be taking some of the big boys in, of course. But uh, yeah, we're going to be mixing it up a bit. Um, we got, I don't have a whole lot of gear. We're going to see what we can work with. And yeah, we'll see if I make any mistakes. If you guys can help me out in the comments section or anything. So let's get into it, shall we? So, as you can see, this is just our team. We're going into the War of the Ring on the 6th. So, just a couple of days or so away. So, that's very nice. Um, so, the first thing we need to do is go to our Commander section. So, Gandalf the White is not going to be used. Tarundal is not getting used. We're not using King of the Dead or Dane or Galadriel. Um, now, I am thinking about using Elrond, but I do need him to get to R5 first. So, I've got him... On the sidelines at the moment. Um, Gilgalad we will be using of course. Because um, I believe I am going to be playing as Lothlorien. But we'll deal with his gearing first. Let's um, go with one of our first ones that we're going to be going with first. And it's going to be uh, Aragorn King of Men. So what I was thinking to be using on him. So with Sword I don't have a lot of selection. So I could go with this Hammer of Moria. Um, I do have the Dawn, which I was thinking of going with, because it gives a lot of might, and it does give unit speed for men, and it has trauma on it as well. I do have a few other bits and pieces here, but not a lot, as you can see. Um, is not going to be very useful on him, and I will be using them on a couple of other people. I do have this Noldor sword, which would be nice as well, but I think we're just going to stick with the Dawn for the moment. Uh, the reason I'm not using the Axe of Kazakh Doom is because I'm going to be using that on another new commander that we're going to be using soon. So we're going to equip the Dawn on there. With It has no uh, refinement. Now, for Chest Piece, um, I have a few selections here. Now, I could go with something which increases Might, Focus, and Defense for Melee. But I was told that um, the Quilted Armor is very good because not only does it give it 30 might, but it also gives focus protection, which is very good against uh, evil. So we are going to be running a Quilted Armor on him with the focus protection. Now, with helmets, I have a couple of selections here, but not a lot of selections. Um, so I could go with a very high might Cask of Pride. But um, I am going to be possibly using that on someone else, as you will see very soon. So I'm probably going to just use this Brutal Helmet that I have. It gives 24 Might, it increases Commander Speed, and it does give an Army HP buff for melee. Um, and also it's got a thing called Dread on there, which does have a chance to inflict some stun. Um, so yeah, you never know what happens there. And then for the last piece of the puzzle for him, I do have a few selections here. So I could go with, um, like for example... This Bane right here, which is very good, um, and it's going to give me an extra 18% uh, damage against Orcs. Um, I do have the Belt of Citadel here, um, which I'm thinking of definitely using as well. And then I have the Entraft, which gives Might and Army HP. So I do have um, multiple selections here with the hip lanes and stuff like that. Um, but we are actually going to be running the Belt of the Citadel on him until we can come up with some other options. We'll see what we can come up with. So, yeah, this is going to be our option here, guys. Boom, like so. So, even so, he's going to be really good with about 408 might there with this gearing. It's not the best gearing. I know things could definitely be make a change, but remember, we've got other commanders we need to work on as well. Um, if we go to his skilling, I've pretty much got his skilling set up how I'm going to run it next season as well. So, you can check out the skilling there. That's pretty much what I'm going to be running quite a lot. That Maybe a little bit of adjustments over here and stuff like that. Okay, so moving on. So who else are we going to be using this season? We don't really have any high level dwarves or anything like that. But we are going to be using my Isildur. He's super easy and quick, so we'll get him done. We're going to be using his Unique like always. We're going to be using his Elven Cloak. We are going to be using my Helm that I always use, which is the Hunter's Guide. And then 
For this, I'm going to be trying out the Carved Dragon Tooth on him, I believe, because it's going to increase his attack and stuff like that. Um, now, this could be really good. I was thinking about using this on him, but I also think that I'm just going to either run that or I run this with the Hit Flame, which does give Bane against Ors, because if I'm bumping into a lot of Sunids and that, this is going to help a lot, and it's going to give me some HP buffs and stuff like that. Or I could just go with the Ent Draft, which gives a lot of HP buff and gives me a lot of extra HP. But I think the extra damage against Orcs will, will be running this for the time being on there. But I do have multiple options here. Um, I do have these ones, but you will see why I want to be using these in a moment on different um, Commander. Which is going to be very interesting, you will soon see. Okay, so the next one we're going to move on to is... Baron, and here's going to be the first time I'm ever using him. I did get him up to R5, which is going to be very nice. This is the skilling I'm going to be running, so I'm going to be running his R5 skills that does a lot of damage against Orcs. Chance for Madness and Stun. It's really good. Stop um, recovery HP, and then, of course, he's got his skin changer, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage, a lot of commander damage. So, with his gear, I wanted to use the Axe of Kazakh Doom, because it does give a 63 buff to the Might. Um, and then, with the armor, I do have this massive breastplate. Now, this is what my what I'm thinking with him. So, as you can see, this is going to not only increase armor defense, but also unit defense for large units of 15. So, we're going to be using the Bjornings with him. So, we're already going to get a 45 um, defense buff on them already. But it's not going to stop there. We're going to run the Cask of Pride, which is going to give another 30 on top of that. So, what did we say before? 45, did we say? Plus 30, that's 75 extra defense uh, for my bears. And then, I want to run this Carved Dragon Tooth because it does give the unit defense for Trolls, Ants, and Beasts, which the Bionics are classed as a Man Beast. So that's going to give another 45 on top of that, which is giving us a total of around 135 or 130 or something like that. That's quick math. So that's going to be some crazy defense buffs there. And not only, this gets buffed by 60%. So 373 times 2... That's over like 700, like it's going to be like 750 might into round 4, which is going to be crazy, which is going to increase the amount of damage that he does to Orcs um, significantly, guys. So this is the build that I'm going to be using for Bjorning, and we had a look at his skilling already. The next one we're going to use is, we're going to give Aomi a go. We got him up to R6, which is pretty nice. Now, um, with the amount of gear here i'm not sure what we're going to be able to use here now i was thinking of using this elven dirk um the only reason because i don't really have many other options um it does give um extra damage against range units which is really good it does give might focus and commander speed buff um the only thing we don't really need there is the unit speed for elves but all in all that's probably the best thing i've got to use with him at the moment um, the Noldor would be nice as well, because it does increase the attack for men and elves and that. I just don't think I've got the amount of uh, gear at the moment to strengthen it. You know what, we could quickly just check, but I don't think we would have enough gold to strengthen it up. Yeah, we've got none. So we're going to run with this Elven Dirk at the moment. Uh, now, with our armor here, we have a few selections. But the selection we're going to go with, of course, is the Scout's Mail, because not only does it give us Might, a bit of Evade, but it also increases our Commander Speed up once again. And then, with our Helm, not only, it's pretty simple, we go straight with the Horseman's Helm with Madness Immunity. And then, here we've got a couple of selections. So, um, I don't have a lot of selections here, but as you can see, I could use my Ent Draft and stuff, but of course, we're going to go with our uh, Reigns here, because it's going to give HP buffs and Army... Um, Army attack for mounted units like so. So, yeah, this he's going to be interesting. Now, with skilling, I'm not sure what I'm going to use with him yet. Um, we're going to have to go through all of this. He's definitely got some very interesting skills like uh, Theoden. So, we're going to be mixing and matching and working with this and stuff like that. Of course, I know Marshall the Mark is definitely something I'm going to be using. you got mounted combat. you got flanking. you got Call of the Week. We know it's really good. So there is a lot of attacking skills there, but that's something I'm going to have to work on. So this is probably around about something that I'm going to be using Aemir for, and it's going to be someone new, and um, we're giving Theoden, even though he's super strong, just a chill at the moment. We might still use him, we'll see what happens. 
Uh, the next commanders we have is Gandalf the Grey. Like, he's always just, like, you know, like a regular and stuff like that. So, I have this carver here that I'd throw on him. We have gear. I don't have much left, so I'd probably just throw on this scale mail. With helmets, I don't have a lot, as you can see. So, I'm probably going to have to work with something and build something up a little bit. I've got this iron bassinet, which is not much. It's not very good. I've got this horseman's helm, and I've got this bone mask. So I'm going to have to strengthen a couple of things up there. But he's mostly just going to be used for early tiles and stuff. I'm not going to be using for PvP. So we could basically throw anything on there. Um, and we'll work out something a little bit better with Helmet later on. As for the final gear and stuff, I do have this worn out smoking pipe. So all in all, he'll be pretty good. But he's mostly just going to be using for uh, flipping tiles early and that. And getting my power up and stuff like that. Thaden we have in there. I have his sword and things, but yeah, we're going to work on him. Um, now, if we scroll down, who else are we going to be using? Of course, Faramir is going to be getting used again. He's super easy. Mirkwood bow, straight on there like so. We're using his cape. And then we got the helmet. Um, with his helmet, we are going to be using the trapper's hood. And then for the gear... Um, I do have a few selections here, but I think the best option will be to run Pursuit with um, the Wizard's Fireworks. So that's going to be Faramir pretty much in a nutshell. Um, also, we have Howdeer and stuff, but I'm not really going to be using him. The only other commander I'm probably going to be using, um, of course, is Gilgalad. And I don't have a lot of gear left for him, as you can see. We do have this Ent Draft, so that could come useful on someone else, but... Um, I think the best thing to use here would definitely be the Harp of Lothlorien. Now, with Helms, I don't really have anything here, so uh, but I'm going to use this Cask of the Submerged Isle on him, so it's going to be pretty useful. And then with the gearing, the only thing I really have here is the Hunter Skin. I know it increases Commander's speed, but I don't really have another option at the moment, so we're going to be running that. And then with the gear here, as you can see, we don't have a lot whatsoever. So I'm going to have to work out a solution of what I can do here. Maybe I can swap in between with the Elven Dirk and stuff like that. But for the time being, I'm just going to have to throw something like a, a Noldor sword. So I don't have a ton of gear at the moment. So I'm going to have to like swap in between and stuff like that during the season. Um, it's going to be very hard. But yeah, we'll see how things go. But that's basically going to be... All my commanders and the kind of gearing, I'm pretty low on gear at the moment. And yeah, definitely need to make some changes. Um, and I need to open some more gear, but it costs too much money all the time. But yeah, um, and that's pretty much me going to be pretty much ready, guys. So we're going to be pretty much set. Like I said, Elrond, I might be using him if I can get him up to R5. But you can see some of the new commanders that I'm using. Uh, AME is going to be quite interesting and stuff like that. Um, I haven't used the end draft yet. I could like change things over and put the end draft here and move this around to someone else. It's just, yeah, it all depends. We'll have to figure out what exactly I'm going to come up with. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's video there. So I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out. EJ's out and I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Just like